All right, so let me guess. When you power on your 3DS, you get this error message right here. And uh, most likely you got this because you followed a tutorial incorrectly. But hey, I'm not here to blame you. I'm here to show you how to fix it. So, enable to mount CTR NAND. What you're gonna do is just power off your 3DS. And then it depends really, really much on what model you have to make this work. So if you have this 3DS, or this 2DS right here. See what it looks like? Or this 3DS XL without a knob here, without that, if you have this exact model. And if you have one of these three consoles right here, then you have a old model, okay? So memorize this, you have a old model, but, If you have a new 3DS XL like this with a knob, as you can see, or a new 2DS XL with also a knob, as you can see right here, or a new 3DS, which looks like this with also a knob, then you have a new model, okay? And uh, so memorize this, which model you have. And once you know what model you have exactly, like I right here have a new model, but you can follow this tutorial on both models. You will just have to select a different file than I do, and I will show you which one to select. But yeah, I have a new model right here. So what you're gonna do is go on your PC, go into Microsoft Edge, and you're going to search up 3DS hacks and enter. And the first website that comes up is this one right here, 3DS Hacks Guide. Just press on that. And then once you're on this website, what you're going to do is go on to Extras. And down here, you can find Region Changing. Right there. Just going to press on Region Changing. Then you can go a little down here. And here, you will have all of the files right here. And these files are for old 3DS, and these files are for new 3DS. So what you're gonna do is you're going to check what version you have. So right here are the new models, and uh, I have a new model, so I will have to select one of these. And if you have an old model, you will have to select one of these, right? And you will also see right here what region you will have. So you can choose what region you want to have. So since I have a new 3DS, I'm just going to change to Europe, as you can see here, Europe, but you can change to Japan, Korea, USA, and on old 3DS, right? You can change to whatever that is, Europe, Japan, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, yeah, this Taiwan or USA. And once you know what file you want, you're just going to open a new tab and you're going to search up EU Tor Rent. Boom just like that. And then you're going to download the first thing or just click on the first thing. And then you're going to download this right here. Just press on free download and give the second just keep and press on it, then run. And then yes, then next, then agree. And then just skip all because these are some ads or antivirus installations, don't need those. Then just wait for this, launch at the application exit, finish. And there we go. Now we have uTorrent, just press OK. And you can now exit out of that, exit out of that. And then you press on the file that you want. So I, once again, have a new 3DS, new 3DS XL, and I want the European CRT transfer file. And then you will get this screen up. You're just going to press on add and this will start downloading. Yeah, don't need that. So yeah, just wait for this to download and uh, it does take a second here. And this is basically the region change file because if you got a CTR transfer or a CTR fail, you'll most likely try to region change or something like that and install the wrong file. But now we're installing the right file. You know what, since I'm a nice guy, I also include how to install FBI and all of those applications once you have region changed. So just give this a second here. Boom, there we go. That's now downloaded. 
And now we can go on to the first link in the description, which is going to lead you to this page right here. And you can just press on download here, then press on download as a zip file. And there we go. That is now downloaded. And you can just go into downloads and unzip this to extract all extract. There we go. And now what you're going to do is take out the SD card out of your 3ds. And since mine is in the back here, I'm just going to take off this cover here and take out the SD card and then plug it into the PC. And then what you're going to do is format your SD card. It's right there. Just going to format it. There we go. Start and OK. Format complete. Then you can go into downloads again where you have your unzipped files. So we can start with new 3DS, 2DS mod files. Just open that, open that again. Take all of these files and take them over to the USB or U the SD card. Sorry. Then you can go back, back again, and then you can open the CTR transfer file right there. And you can take these files and put them also on the SD card. And this will take a second here, depends on the write speed of your SD card and uh, all of that stuff. But just give this a second here. Yeah, and once this is done, I'll be back. Not much left, okay? Not much left. And there we go, it's done. So now what you're going to do is eject your SD card right there. Come on, you wanna, there we go, eject. Then take out your SD card out of your PC, plug it into your 3DS. You can also take on the cover now if you had a cover. And then what you're gonna do is press start and hold it and then power on your 3DS. There we go. Nope, it wants me to, yeah, it has a new Luma version. So what I'm gonna do is press start again. There we go. Now just power it off again and then press start and power on. There we go. And it's going to put us into God mode nine. We just press A, A and A. And then you can go on to SD card. Go down till you find the CTR transfer file. One gigabyte for me since I have a new model, but on the old models, it's about 600 to 700 megabytes. So I'm just going to press A on that. CTR NAND options. Transfer image to CTR NAND. And writing to SysNAND is locked, so unlock it now. And then follow whatever it says on the screen. And A. And this will take a around five minutes, something like that. Sometimes shorter, sometimes a little bit longer. But uh, let it do its thing. And once this is done, I'll be back. And uh, yeah, I mean, if this fails somewhere or you still get this error after doing this, then uh, you either have a, or I mean, you have a hardware issue or you install the wrong file once again. So uh, yeah, I mean, just rewatch the video and make sure that you have, or you know which model exactly you have, if you have a new or an old model, because there's a big, big difference. You can't install the old one on the new 3DS and you can't install the file from the new 3DS on the old 3DS, then you will always get that issue. So make sure that you have the right device and you have the right file. And there we go, now it's done. So what you're gonna do is press A, then B and B, and then just go on to, yeah, B again, and then SysNAND CTR NAND, press A, data, and then press on this string of, uh, of uh, numbers, a, and then sys data, and then go down till you find the one that ends with 17. Just press X on that file and delete it. Make sure it's the 17 one and not a different one. Press A, then press start. Now give this a second here. It does take a while sometimes. It basically is a new 3DS right now, or a, not a new 3DS, but a new, new 3DS, okay, as you can see. It uh, has been factory reset. So now on English, slider up. Next, gonna go through all of this. And uh, one thing you just need to make sure that you do is um, connect to the internet, really important. Because we need to make DS games work after doing this CTR transfer. 
done. Next, next. Okay, okay. Next, I just name my system one. Okay, okay, okay. Turn off 3D now. Now I just need to connect to the internet. So just give me a second here so I can do this off camera here. And there we go. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, read later, finish, exit, next, and do not set. Okay, don't transfer, and then home. There we go. And there we go. Now we're just going to close out of that. Let this make the necessary files on your micro SD card. Then go all the way to the right here until you see download play. Just press on that. And what you can do is press down, L and select. Then go down to miscellaneous options, press A. Press A on switch the HP. And once you get operation succeeded, you just press B, B and B. Then press home, home again again and there we go just press ok and then close it out and open it again and this will open homebrew there we go now just press on tvl fix then press a then start and if this crashes which it does not for me right now but if it crashes just press a or b and uh, turn on your 3ds again it does crash sometimes sometimes it doesn't like it didn't for me right now but uh it doesn't matter what happens really but uh, now i'm just going to download play again and press down l and select go down to miscellaneous options once again switch the hb once you get operation succeeded you just press b b and b and press home then x out of that again and open it once again and then FBI and then SD go down to CIAs and then press A on current directory and install and delete all CIAs and A and this will install all the mod apps so Anemone 3ds checkpoint FBI Homebrew Launcher, Universal Updater, I think that's it, yeah, install finished, go home, there we go, exit out of that, now you can just open all of your apps, as you can see, all of the mod apps are here, I used to also include a chop here, but uh, not sure why I don't anymore in this kind of tutorial. Then go into system settings. Then other settings. Go all the way to the right. System update and OK. And I accept. And give this a second here. Yeah, and now it will update to the latest version. So let it just do its thing. And uh, once that's done, I'll be back. And there we go, system update is complete. I'm just gonna press OK. Can't really press anything else, can you? No, you can't, you can't. I mean, you can take out the battery, but uh, don't do that. Do not wait for it to power on again. There we go. Now I can just go into system settings. And as you can see, it's now on 11.17.0-50E for me, because that's what I chose. And now if you're wondering how to install HOP, I'll leave that right there. This is how you install DS games on your modded 3DS. And this is how you install Game Boy games on your modded 3DS. Thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.